Hey, ho, neighbor. Welcome to Dave, the family farmer. It's 2014. Yes, we made it through a nice year. Uh, now we're going through winter. Spring is on the way, and I'm getting happier every day. But, so now, we're going to cook off, kick off the new year. Not cook off, but we'll cook, do some cooking, too. But for right now, we're going to kick off the new year with N, P, and K. Yes. Let's understand something. Look at this. Got me a little bored so we can understand it a little bit better. N, P, K. N is for nitrogen. P is for phosphorus. And of course, K is for potassium. Yes. Well, for people like me or you that just compost, N, P, K, eh, really don't mean a whole lot to us, does it? Because we just mix everything together, throw it in the garden. But, believe it or not, over the last few months, I've been uh, working on this NPK. And, you know, and I've, never, and I've never admitted to being an expert. But I'll tell you what, every time I'm looking into something, you know, I find something new all the time. I talk to my friends and stuff on NPK. And, you know what? Sometimes I think I don't know crap, I'm telling you. I'm learning something new every day on this stuff. Yeah. So, why don't we uh, follow along with me and then uh, we'll give you some, uh, maybe some good hints, some good tips. I don't know. Well, let's try it anyways. Nitrogen. What is nitrogen? You know, out in your garden. Well, it does a lot of things. It helps promote your stem growth and your leaf, the greens, your phosphorus, works down into your roots, keeps your roots nice and healthy and vigorous and what have you, lets them spread out and what have and all that kind of neat stuff. Potassium actually is good for the health of your plants. Helps it to resist any diseases or anything like that. So, anyways, let me uh, kind of explain it a little bit different here. Here's our, here's our garden line. Here's our plant. We can kind of like grow a plant. I just grow stick plants. I don't grow uh, any other kind of what have you because I... And let's grow some roots. some roots here. Yeah. Uh, let's add in another root there. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Alright, now I'll, I'll do a in for nitrogen. And here we'll put uh, P for potassium. And of course the whole, actually the whole overhaul thing here will be the big key. All right, let's take a look at this now. Nitrogen. Here's my plant. You know, I'm a really good drawer here. Nitrogen actually helps promote the growth of your stem. Also helps the growth of your leaves, the leaf stems, the leaf itself. That's where you get that nice green color into your leaves, okay, which helps promote because of the sun and everything and you have the, all that scientific um, protoplasma and blah 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 and what have you. So nitrogen actually helps this whole area, up. this is my ground right here, see my dirt looks kind of, it's black, that's my dirt, okay, now here we have our roots for our phosphorus. Yes, phosphorus develop, helps you develop root growth, okay? And helps them spread out and what have you like that and it gives you the little hairs on your roots which get, sucks up all the nutrients to 
help grow all of this up here. Alrighty. So, yeah. So if you're into hydroponics or aquaponics and all this kind of stuff, you th this is really noticeable because your root system, you can see your root system right there. And you can see how the little hairs will grow littler hairs. These are your main roots. And then you have your, I don't know exactly what you would call them, but anyways, those main roots will shoot out other smaller roots, which shoot out other smaller roots that suck up all these nitrogens and the bacteria and microorganisms and help this whole plant grow. All right. Now, your potassium, which is K, you can see that K there, helps your whole plant. Helps this whole plant, believe it or not. Helps, helps in the development of your roots. Helps out the development of your whole plant. Why? Because it helps it re resist diseases. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. It maintains the whole health of your whole plant. So now, what, if you didn't have one or the other, your plant would die. It would just just go away. But with the two and with the all three of them, see what that does? It does something for somebody. You know, your pea, your phosphorus, does something for your plant upstairs, above the ground. Your nitrogen does all this above the ground. And your potassium does everything. Yes. Yes. So if you look at N, P, and K, you're looking at a nice balance of everything that you have. So while you're making your next compost pile, think about what you're putting in there. You know, your nitrogen source, your phosphorus source, and of course, look at your potassium source. And I've been doing that lately, and uh, believe it or not, talk to people, you know, just don't take it, throw it in there, and stir it up, and yeah, that's what we've been doing. And of course, I'm still going to do it that way. Just That's just the way I am. But uh, I hope I helped you out a little bit on uh, N, P, and K in your garden. Hey, if you have any questions or anything, hey, tune me in or give me a private message. I'm Dave the Family Farmer. YouTube, click to it. I'm always here. Hey, you take care. Bye-bye then.